Hello everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a pretty much realistic bullet in Paint.net. Um, the only plugin you'll need is the Shape 3D, and that's it. So, this is what our bullet's going to look like, pretty much. Uh, I used a texture on this, but um, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to make my own texture, just showing you what the bullet's going to look like, kind of. So, I'm going to start off with a new plane here, get a kind of bronze, goldish color and make a layer two and put it on, color it a bit. Um, then I think I'm gonna put some a little noise in here, add some very very slight noise, uh, just a little bit, and change it up a little bit like so. So we have our little noisy color there. Uh, next uh, I'm going to add some clouds. I think clouds will look nice. Let's render some clouds. And roughness. Turn the roughness up a bit. Scale. Turn it up. And so we have this now. Change the properties. Go to properties of layer 3 where you put the clouds and change it to overlay and turn the opacity down to about let's do 150 alright so that's this is our texture right here that we're going to use and you have to make sure to merge your layers or actually I'll show you if you don't merge layers you will get the bullet using layer 3 and that looks pretty bad so if you do this you will get a transparent background and you can use it for a lot of a lot of different things for videos or just to have a bullet so if we go to effects render shape 3d my settings are already like this because I was doing it before but I'll go over it uh, you want to go ahead and use a cylinder that's either the full cylinder map or the plane map. I, I like full cylinder map because you get the little um, noise and clouds that we put in before. The scaling, uh, scaling is pretty much up to you. Whichever one, that's kind of large, but you can definitely see the detail. So I go 0.5. Um, and based on what your scale is, your horizontal radius, depth radius, and height will all correspond to how what your scale is also you want to make sure for the cylinder end that one of them is a ball one of them is flat so it's just not like an empty shell it's actually a bullet like that and like I said before you can mess around with your height radius if you turn it up you'll get a bigger thicker or wider or whatever bullet like that yes see see that quite nice quite nice but it's kind of ellipse ish as you can see so if I change that back to 0.5 we have a nice round bullet and uh, down here object rotation um, you can pretty much move it wherever you want because it is 3D, hence the name Shape 3D. So you can just move it around however you want, then you can still frame it and use it in effect. And we can go even further down here, and there's stuff like lighting you can change. You can turn lighting on and off, but if you turn lighting off, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty stupid. So, uh, leave lighting on, and you can change the lighting, the strength of the light, and all that. Bunch of, bunch of cool stuff in here. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial on how to make a bullet in Paint.net. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies.
Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.